Okay, we're almost done. All we need to do now is to complete our other addendums. We need to put in a screenshot of our folder structure. So you can go to your folder for your pet, wherever you've saved that. Now, I suggest you expand the arrows here on your side, uh, maybe resize the window a little bit, because you actually need to show the subfolders in each phase. So this way, you can see your main folder as well as all the subfolders. And then you can use your snipping tool again and just do a snip of this side. There you go. Okay. And you can just paste that over there. So that's addendum A. I'm going to put a page break under addendum A so that addendum B can start on its own page as well. And then for addendum C, same thing, I'm going to let it start on its own page. And I'm going to go and copy the declaration of authenticity. It's also in the public folder, the one that's available to download. So um, addendum C by Lochsia, you can just go open that. I'm not going to copy the heading here, we've already got the heading. So you can just copy this whole table. I'm actually going to use this handle over there. Right click copy. And now when you paste, I think, yeah, use destination theme is fine. Okay, oh, we are grade 11. I'll just fix that in the template. Um, you can put your name, ID number, please, um, your teacher, and you did uh, receive help. I think if you double click on this fast enough, the symbols box should come up that you can actually use or find a symbol where there is one that is clicked. Yes, that's ticked. Okay. Um, so yes, you prov you got help. The help you received from me, the nature of the help was step-by-step -step videos. Okay. And um, you can put in a picture of your signature in the last phase and date it in the last phase. You don't have to do that right now. But I think let's put in a field of the current date anyway. That's not a bad idea. So let's say insert quick parts field and date today's date anyway and say okay and then we've got today's date right now I think that's it let's just quickly go through everything and just maybe check our um, marking guideline so Let's see, we've got a folder structure. All the work is a single word processing documents. We've got electronic documents of all the sources. If you've got, if you actually had a hard copy of sources like a magazine article, you need to hand that into your teacher. It's all in the logical folder structure, clearly named, and we used meaningful folder and file names. All right. Our talk, task definition, we filled in the current situation, the focus of the investigation, how you will go about it, who the target audience is, and what format it will be presented in. The questions, um, all the questions are relevant to the focus question. Basically what that means is, if we just go and look at the focus question again, is it means it has to do with the digital citizenship and the online activities for young people. But if you stick, if you stuck to the topic, then it'll be fine. All right, it includes a variety of questions. So that's those three different levels, these research levels that I spoke about. At least three different groupings of questions. That means these headings that we spoke about. Okay. The research questions, they are all organized under appropriate headings. So those are the headings. This is that you have three headings. And this is that they are all organized under three headings, that you didn't forget to classify any of them. Then we indicated a possible appropriate source type. 
So that is this, that we indicated the source type that we want to use. And then this is that you have 10 questions. This is that we have the correct bibliographical information for all the sources. So all details for all sources. So that is this, that we did this for all the sources. Even if you just typed it in like this, you'll all get, also get the mark for that. This is just giving us some marks for phase three already. So that's why we did it this way and saving some effort for phase three. Just note that if you left out one or two aspects of it, you, you really lose a lot of marks. So you have to make sure that it's complete. Hey? All right, the variety of the sources, the fact that it's two websites plus a different type, that it's a magazine or an article or an email or an interview or a video, that's that one. Um, the validity or the credibility of the sources, the authority, currency, accuracy, objectivity, and that you have a summary of the information. That's the answer of all your questions. And all the summarized information is relevant to the topic, likely to answer questions. We have actually grouped it under the questions, so that's nice. And it will help solve the problem. There you go. Right, hope that helped. And see you for phase two.